Right, so uh, welcome back. This is um, uh, day two of our um, Monster Truck Drawing Club. Uh, and last time we um, uh, used a pencil and a blue pencil and a black pen uh, to practice uh, drawing cool um, truck wheels. And uh, we're going to do some more of that today. We're going to use those wheels um, uh, to draw a monster truck doing a great big wheelie. So I'll show you what sort of thing we're going to end up with. Let's just move this out of the way. Um, we're going to end up with something like this so i recommend to get yourself in the mood to watch a couple of um monster truck videos first um because uh, they can do cool things like this like big wheelies and they have like a big flag and that kind of stuff so we're going to do that today so uh, we'll get ourselves ready let's find a fresh piece of paper bear with me a second right ready to go so first of all we need to start off with our um sorry i'm getting my pencil ready our color pen our, either our blue pencil or our um, uh, handwriting pencil. And we're going to use that skill we've already practiced of drawing the wheel. So again, we're going to use our curly c to draw the inside of the wheel. And then I don't, that wasn't very nice, but I don't mind that because um, I, it's just my, my rough pencil underneath. And then we'll do a curly c going the other way. And then I'm going to do little cutouts inside the wheel. Okay. Next job, I'm going to do a curly c or a letter C going backwards the other way. All stuff that we practiced last time. Ooh, don't really like that. Never mind. Might make it smaller. Gotta love your mistakes. Okay. Then I'm going to draw uh, sort of a, the bulge on the top of the tire like that. And then we're going to need the bulge on the bottom of the tire. Then again, do you remember we said last time if this bulges this much on this side, if you're drawing a cylinder, if it bulges this much on this side, you've got to make it bulge more on the other side. So there we go. Ooh, it might be a bit too much, but never mind. And then I'll draw the grips. There we go. Just draw a line down the side of the tire there. Pretty cool. Okay, so this my monster truck is doing a big wheelie, and the wheels are joined with a, an axle. So I'm going to draw a sausage coming out of the side here. And then they've got the thing called the diff, which lets the wheels turn at different speeds. That's there. And then we want another sausage for the axle to go to the other wheel on the other side. And this is going to be the sort of inside, the dark side that you don't see much of the other wheel. So are you ready? We're going to draw a curly cut going this way. I'm trying to think, trying to keep in mind that it's going to be a similar size to that one. And a curly cut going the other way inside of that. And then I'm going to draw a curly cut going this way, and it'll stop here. And then it'll carry on because it goes behind the axle. And then we want the sort of curvy fat bit on the top of the tyre. And the curvy fat bit on the bottom of the tyre. And then we're going to make it a bigger curve around the side. And then the grips, the tread good now my wheel just set to the side over here now so I'm gonna do the same as this but not directly underneath because it'd be like pointed straight in the air then it's gonna be sort of lit the, the monster truck is gonna be leaning this way so I'm gonna draw this wheel over here so I'm gonna do are you ready I'm gonna do a curly cut here are you ready there we go it's a bit smaller than that one never mind curly cut going the other way Right, now I'm going to do this curly curl going this way. Ready? Here we go. And the fat line over the top, bulging tyre. Bulging tyre on the bottom. And then join it up. Let's give it some tread. Cool. Nice. And we do exactly the same down here as we did up there because that's what you've got on the, on the other side. So there's the axle and this fat bit here called the diff. And then another sausage axle. Okay, sorry guys, I'm going too fast, sorry. Okay, then a curly cut here, so like that. 
and a curly cut going the other way. And then a curly cut going this way. I'm going to stop at the axle because it goes behind. Ooh, don't worry about that, that's going to disappear. You won't see that later. Bulge on the top. Bulge on the bottom. There we go. And then I'm going to give it the tread. <laughs> nice. Excellent. You can see it now, can't you? Looks great. So now, right, I think we need some smoke coming off these tyres. So I'm going to do like a the top of a cloud. So it's all you do for a top of a cloud is a circle, and a tiny circle, and a big circle, tiny circle, and a big circle, tiny circle, and a big circle. And then, there we go. <clears throat> That's the dust coming off the back tyres. Okay, right. Now we need, at the top, we need like the bumper and the headlights. So here we go. So we're going to draw a curve like this. Are you ready? This is underneath the truck. Across like that. And then a little line up. And another curve across the top. And then this is going to be the part of the bonnet coming down. And then this is going to be the wheel arch here. Ooh, like that. Now we're going to put some headlights. Now you're looking from underneath. It's a bit of a strange view. But we're going to put some headlights there. You can just see the tip of the headlights. Then uh, we're going to do... Now the cab, you're looking from below on the cab. It's a bit strange. Coming out. Going down. And coming back this way. Don't worry, these, these shapes might go a bit wrong, it's okay. And I'm going to draw a line here for the uh, tra the back of the um, truck. And I have a big flagpole now, and it's bending because I'm going so fast. <sighs> Little circle on the top. Then I'm going to do, like the, the flag is hanging off the pole, so it's sort of, that's going to be the, the start of the material. And I'm going to do a curve on the top of the flag, curly cut, another curve on the bottom of the flag, join them up, then I'm going to do um, a curve up here, a curly cut, another curly cut, and then it's got, I've got, got kind of got one of those, I don't know, dinosaur tail type ends, join those up, cool. Right, the thing that's missing now is it's got no weight. There's nothing to it. It needs to be filled in. This all needs to be like dark underneath. So I'll do a wheel arch under here. And then a line coming down here. And then I need a line down the bottom for the back of it, the vehicle. And then all of this, when we come to it, we're going to colour in um, in black. So that's pretty much... Oh, I know it's not, I haven't got any windows. Otherwise they'll crash. Line across, line down, line down, line up. Okay, and then in a minute I'll show you the, the trick. I don't know if you know the trick to drawing glass, but I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, right, we're ready. So I'm going to go really as fast as I can now to go over that now with my pen so that it pops. You can do that too. So we can watch. So again, if I make any, if there's any bits that I don't like, this is the time I can change them. Wheel arch, bonnet. Thank you. 
tread. Sorry, I'm rushing now. Oh, don't spoil it. Don't rush too, can you? Right, okay. I've got my colours on it. Okay. There's a smoke. The dust from my tyres, they're going so quickly. Cool. Right, okay. Now I'm going to fill in all of this in black. I'm just going to. Um, I'm going to skip that so you don't have to watch me do that. So let's just. Right, okay, so I filled that in now. I didn't want you to watch me doing that. It took me a, a, a little while. And I'll do my glass. Okay, now that looks pretty good. Oh, I need a number plate. Nice. So, oh, well, I said I was going to show you the glass. Right, so I'm going to get some, I'm going to get a blue colour pencil. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to. I'm going to draw two lines like that and then I'm going to colour in outside the lines and then I'm going to go back to my black and do the two lines again. Look at that! Neat trick for glass. Okay, uh, that's it. So first truck done. I mean if I really wanted to make it, one thing I might do uh, is uh, um, I really could do with more shadow. So why am I not getting shadow now? There we go. Things get weight and presence and power by having a shadow. So I should just quickly do that. Oh, look at that! So much better. Look at it jump now. It pops. So much better. Love it. Okay. So uh, that's it. Thanks for listening. Have fun.